First at four, new developments on the biggest story of the day. At this hour, a 50-year-old man is behind bars after a shootout at Tulsa International Airport. And we are learning it's not his first run-in with police. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Dorman. And I'm Shannon Russo. Police tell us that an officer and the suspect were both injured during that shooting. News on 6 is Ashlyn Brothers in our newsroom with the very latest details. Ashlyn? Brian and Shannon, we've learned in the past few hours the man who police say opened fire at Tulsa International Airport Airport is a convicted felon. Joseph Watson Jr. has been convicted twice for robbery, and his most recent run in with the law was for indecent exposure last summer. Police tell us Watson came to the airport around midnight to confront his wife because he thought she was cheating on him and had threatened to kill her. They say Watson began shooting at her and his brother in law as they were leaving the airport. Andrew Perini with TIA says police followed Watson to the lower level of the parking garage and he shot an officer in the chest who was wearing a protective vest. Perini says police returned fire, hitting Watson in the foot and taking him into custody. Both Watson and the officer were taken to the hospital to be checked out. This was a, an isolated incident, but we're very thankful for our officer as well as TPD's response and assistance. We're thankful that you know our officer was able to neutralize the suspect and that no one was severely injured and that there was you know a, a positive outcome out of all of this. Perini says two shuttles outside the airport were hit by bullets, but thankfully no one inside was injured. The wife and her brother were also not hit. Brian? Ashley, I understand that you were able to talk with a mother who was there at the airport when the shooting happened. Well, Brian, Kimberly Eaton Anderson tells me that she was hiding out in the bathroom with her son after the shooting started, and she plans to take her son to a counselor just to process what happened. I'll have more from her coming up at 5 o'clock. Brian? Ashland Brothers live for us in the newsroom this afternoon with that update. Ashland, thank you very much.